Okay, so now we've done our baseline, we're going to um, put in our drum kit, okay? And I've already set up a drum kit clef here for you. So let's click on here, and on this bottom space, this is drum kit, okay? So this is not a bass or a treble clef, it's a special kind of clef that says it's a drum kit. On the bottom space, that's the kick drum. Now what we want to do is put the cursor back there, and if we move, hang on, that's not what I wanted, sorry. If we move our notes around here so we get that grey kind of note there, we want to put it on the top space, and that is what we call a closed hi-hat. Okay, that's those symbols that you push together, and when you put your foot on the pedal, it's a closed hi-hat. Now, we're going to change the duration to a quaver. All right, and the, the next, the cursor moves to the next quaver beat and we want another quaver and 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 another quaver. Now they're worth half a beat each so you should fit eight of these and that X means when we play a cymbal and drum kit in music it's shown as an X. Any of the cymbals is shown as an X so we've got eight quaver played in the hi-hat. What we want to do is click on if you move your arrow key and that is the um, third crotchet beat. One, two, three, that one there. Put another bass kick drum there. And then we want the cursor back at the very first beat again. And we want to put that on the one, two, third space. Oh, sorry, not the first beat, my B pardon. On the second crotchet beat, we want to put that on the third space. So that's the bottom space, second space, third space. Move the cursor along to the fourth beat and we want to do the same thing again. So not that bottom space, that's a kick drum, not there, not that second space, third space. Hey, there's our drum rhythm. Listen to this. Now, this is easy. If you like that, then, oh, hang on, we've got to go back to edit mode. We go like this. Copy, paste, paste, paste. And let's take that right through to the end on our drum kit. Paste, 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 paste. Listen to this. We've got our piano chords that I played for you. Hey, but you've done the bass line and you've done a drum beat. Okay, and we've got the first note of our melody here on our beautiful voice. Okay, not me singing. Okay, so it's starting to take shape how we're going to write this song. Okay, we're getting the shape of it. Okay, so save that, and then I'll come back in the next video to show you how to make a fairly nice melody line, all right? So that's it for this one.